Hi, so I'm Anna. And I'm Haley. And this is our video cam. And if you're wondering what video cam is, well, we're JMU students. And here at JMU, we have what we call biddies, which are really basic girls. So we are doing basic girl things. So this is our video cam. So today we're doing the drugstore makeup tag, which was created by Makeup by Allie and Makeup by Fran. Hey Fran, guess what Fran? We're best friends. And we're gonna do it together because like Haley said, we're best friends. So uh, to get started, the first question is, what is your favorite drugstore makeup brand? Um, I'm gonna go with L'Oreal just because like I have blue eyes and a lot of their like eyeshadows are nice for blue eyed girls because they're more like neutrals like browns. Um, and I just really like them and like it includes like the highlight, all the um, contour in all in one and they're good colors for blue eyes and they don't make my eyes act up bad because a lot of times I get like hives if I use like any other makeup brand. Um, not Alme, not L'Oreal. So those are the eyeshadows I pretty much use. Well, my favorite drugstore makeup brand is Revlon. And that's because Revlon makes great eyeliner because I've got normal like stick eyeliner, we got gel eyeliner, we got liquid eyeliner, and I like all of them. And they make great lip products, which I've got. We've got Kissable Balm, we've got Kissable Stain, we've got just the classic like Revlon lipsticks here. This one's a matte. And then we've got what Revlon calls um, the Colorstay Ultimate Suede. And we have these two colors which are from the, um, you more lippy. Look at you putting on Revlon. I am so putting we, on Revlon. So yeah, we got this on the Revlon front. So that is definitely my favorite. So let's see. Second question. On question, question number two. Question number two is, what are your favorite face, cheek, and lip products? All right, my favorite face, face product is um, this L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup. It's medium to light coverage, um, and the nice thing about it is, like, for, like, really pale people, you have to, like, be careful finding your makeups, but, like, because it does it by the undertones of your skin, and I have, like, cooler undertones on my skin, like, you, and in case you ever wanted to check, um, you just look at your veins in your arm, and, like, if it's more blue, then you have cool undertones. If it's more greenish, you have warm undertones, and if it's just kind of plain, then it's just normal undertones, like, you would go in the normal section. Yeah. I say mine are green. Are they green? No. More down in here, not here. No, it's it's pretty much blue. Um, but yeah, so that's how you test that. And then, um, so I have the cool undertones, um, alabaster, and it's pale enough, but then it also doesn't make me look yellow, like a lot of pale makeups do. Um, so that's the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup. Okay. My face products, I have two. First of all, I have this powder, which is by Maybelline. It's the Fit Me color, and this is 110 Porcelain. And I like this because I was using a different powder, and um, the powder I was using, it looks white even in this lighting, um, made me look really kind of yellow, like darkish yellow, and this definitely like keeps me from being yellow. It looks kind of yellow in the container but um, it's much more of an actual skin color than it is yellow. So my second face product is um, BB Cream, which this is the Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream in Fair by L'Oreal Paris, but pretty much any brand of makeup has one of these. This is the one I've tried, um, but this one, like it's magic. It's BB cream magic. is pretty much magic if it works for you. I tend to have dry skin. I can imagine it's probably rougher for people with oily skin because it does have a um, hydrating, moisturizing type effect to it. But it works for me really well, especially mornings I have really early classes. I just throw some on my face. I don't have to sit there like 
with the makeup sponge, I just rub it in like you would lotion and it um, makes your skin a whole one color instead of crazy different colors. So this is, this is a good one. And also I've worn it under my makeup um, as a primer and it, and it keeps your um, skin one color and then with makeup on top, you just look, you know, photoshopped. You look good. So next we have cheek. Okay, my favorite cheek products, um, I have this weird palette thing, it's Stila, I think it's from Walgreens, my BFF got it for me, um, it's hella ratchet cause, um, I, I, I like broke it from stepping on it and stuff, but, um, it has different blush colors and like, it's good for like all skin tones, like I personally use this pink one all the time because it's just a nice straight up pink that shows up on my skin, um, but like sometimes I'll use like the peach one or like this one's nice for like if I'm wearing like more earthen tones then I'll wear this because it's kind of orangey. Um, I don't know why I had to turn into a heavy. But so yeah, I really I like the blushes. Them. The eyeshadows aggravate my eyes so I don't wear them too much. But I really like the blushes. Even though it's like falling apart because I've had it for so long. Well... I don't really have a blush that would qualify, but I do have a bronzer that I don't particularly use very much, especially since it's winter. But this bronzer is in 01, so it's like the lightest color, Foxy Bronze, and it's made by the company Flirt. And it opens like this, and then you flip this up. And um, this, you can tell, is not your average bronzer. It's definitely more of a sandish color than anything else. It's not too brown and it doesn't make pale look dirty. And especially when you're pale, you definitely want a little bit of a shimmer in your bronzer. And this has lots Basically, of shimmer. Basically, if you're pale, you put on bronzer with like little gold sparkles. That way you look like Greek goddessy. Yeah. You don't really want to. You don't want to look tan look because dark. No, because it doesn't work. No. Um, hey, all you pale girls out there, be proud of being pale. I think pale's pretty, so don't go sit in tanning beds, or you're gonna get cancer. Okay, on that, <laughs> on that upbeat note, favorite <laughs> lip products. <laughs> okay, um, my absolute favorite lipstick is an old lady lipstick. I'm wearing it right now. It's called, this is how you know it's old lady. It's called Soft Silver Rose. And it's just like a beautiful old lady pink. And it sparkles. And like, it's just really, like it's really nice with my skin tone. Um, and like my skin coloring. Cause like I have like this golden blonde hair. But then like pale skin. So I need a little bit of color. Um, but it, it just kind of gives me a little bit of pink color. It makes me feel uber girly without like, being like a really matte bubblegum pink that only really looks good on tan girls with like bleach blonde hair. And even then it doesn't really look that good. Okay, so I have two favorite lip products. I feel like I have two of everything, so just can't choose. But um, my first lip product is gonna have to be lip stains because um, Definitely, like, I love lipstick, and I love the traditional aspect of lipstick, and it's fun, and you feel really, like, feminine and womanly when you wear it, but sometimes I don't have time to line my lips and worry about if both sides are the same shape, so sometimes you just go with a marker, and these are lip stains, and um, I have two different um, brands here. These two are by CoverGirl. They're CoverGirl Outlast. And this pinker one is 440, and this brown one on the outside, which isn't actually really brown, is 427. So I'll swatch these. This one's 427. It's definitely more of a brown, but it's not like brown like you think it is. And then this one is actually more red, um, but definitely more of a cherry red. And then this one is the same deal, like same marker tip. We'll show you the tip there. That's the tip, marker looking, you know, got your Crayola washables here going on. And this is the Revlon version, which is the Revlon Just Bitten. 
And this one is in flame. And this one, oh, well, it's showing up really pink on my hand. But, yeah, it looks really pink there. It's this one. Oh, this one. And um, it's, it's more red on because you have the undertone of your lip. But the thing that I really like about the Revlon ones is they come with a little teeny chapstick on the end. That's chapstick, clear chapstick. Um, it's really nice because you don't want to get your lip stain color on your everyday chapstick. So you have a chapstick just for that color. And it smells like cinnamon. It does. <laughs> okay. okay, sniffer. I like sniffing things. Okay, so my second favorite lip product is, is um, the Kate Moss line by Rimmel. This one smells minty. Just so you know, I like to smell different lipsticks and tell you how they smell. Sorry, I'm interrupting. I'm going to have to edit this video. Sorry. <laughs> These are the Kate Moss line um, by Rimmel. And I have three different shades. I have 11, which is this lovely dark wine color, which is number, which is number 11. And then I have number 15, which is this like super gothic purple kind of gray. Anna's having a gothic relapse. Um, and then this is 130, which is a super pretty pink. So those are the three colors there. You have the, the 11, 15, and 103. And then I also have a really pretty nude one, but it's in my purse. Um, so these, I really like them. They have a really distinct smell. Oh, I have your nude one. No, that's your nude one. Oh, it's my nude one. Um, oh, they smell like, you, these smell like the Band-Aid bubble gum back okay. from your childhood. Yeah, so they this smell. This one smells like that at least, and I love wearing it because I like the smell. Doesn't it? Mm, yeah, the lighter one smell like that. This one smells. Watermelon. A little less, yeah, a little less watermelon. But um, the consistency, I really like these. And I'm going to let you sniff them before I stop talking Ooh. about it. But um, yeah, these have a very um, good consistency. They're much more, stop. They're much more pet pasty. Sorry, can I have Okay. Yours? So <laughs> smell them. now that Haley's, you can smell them later. Okay. So now that Haley is huffing my lip product, we can move on to our next question. So we are on question number three. Question number three is your least favorite product. And I can make this one short and sweet for me. Um, I tried the liquid makeup, the foam, like it's called Dream Nude, Foam Nude or something. It's by Maybelline and it comes in like a spray can. You shake it up, you squirt it, and it comes out in literally foam. But as you leave it on your hand, the bubbles come out. You put it on your face, and it's like smearing really, really thin mud on your face. It's terrible. I don't know why anyone would like it, but it definitely didn't work for me. So, Haley. All right, um, mine is this eyeliner. I wrote, this sucks on my hand um, because I hate it so much. And um, it's it's was called, what is it called? It's called Purple Shock. And like, it's not really purple so much as it is pink. So like, I put it on and it basically just made me look like I had pink eye. It just really didn't go with my blue eyes. Um, it made me look kind of like sick. And I didn't like it. It might work for you brown eyed boos, um, or maybe green eye, but not for blue eyes. And it just wasn't the purple I was trying to get. I, what I ended up getting I really love is um, this, Soft Coal um, Rimmel London, what's it called? It's, it's Purple Passion. It's more of an amethyst, which is what I was looking for. Um, but yeah, big difference. But yeah, like it's at the top there. But I was just trying to avoid the wooden tip because I, I stabbed myself in the eye too much for that. Um, it's just this color I didn't like. I actually had the same like stick Rimmel London and just straight up gold and it was like just beautiful and it worked great for blue eyes. So like I highly recommend that. I ended up like using it all and I haven't bought a new one yet. But yeah. So stay not, not stay away. Color. Stay away not from the color for this. blue eyed girls. Stay away from this. Okay, so question number four is what is the best makeup bargain? Okay. 
Well, my my bargain is the line. You can get it online, but the tar Target carries it. It's Elf, which stands for eyes, lips, and face. And I have three different products here that I have from Elf. Um, they're all kind of beaten up, but this first of all is called Copper, and it's a liquid glitter eyeliner, and you get you know some like shiny gold glitter going on and you just kind of pat it on and it's just glitter it's not like a shimmery like base color it's glitter um, which is really cute because I have blue eyes yay blue eyes um, also I have um, you can't read this anymore but it's elf matte color which is like a lipstick and this is in the color praline and um, it's this like this one is this really pretty pink brown color which looks like a really natural good look and it's matte so it comes out really natural and um, finally by elf this is the lip primer and plumper stick which one end has lip plumper which um, has the clear end and then this is the primer which has more of a skin tone end so that you get your lipsticks true color over it so e.l.f. makes some good products. They make palettes you can get online for like $20 to $30. They're really great. So definitely, if you're on a budget, try that out because most of the stuff that you can buy in stores, one to three, no more than maybe five or six dollars. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is actually like my favorite. Um, it's a, it's um, Walgreens uh, carries a random um, brand called Giordana, um, it was just like really cheap liquid eyeliner that, and I was just trying to like get some for a show I was in one time and um, so I just like grabbed this because I was like shopping on a budget and um, I actually ended up really liking it. It's like marker again, like all our makeup is markers, um, but it's a, they have it in brown and gray and black and like it, this one's pretty old but like it writes pretty well. Um, I actually wrote Jordana on my wrist. I actually was just going to write Jordan because that's my middle name. And I like that it's Jordana. And that's kind of like my middle name, but like on Hollywood crack. So, um, yeah, I like this brown. I'm wearing it right now. And it's super easy to do like cat eyes with or whatever. So, I mean, if you're just looking really cheap liquid eyeliner that stays on pretty much like all day, um, go with this. It's really easy to put on really good for a number yeah and so number five is what is your favorite underdog product and I'm going to go off of what Haley just did with a similar product um I have two different ones actually but they're pretty much the same deal this one is master precise by i studio in black which is by Maybelline and this one is by L'Oreal Paris and it's the 12 hour infallible the super slim liquid eyeliner in black so both of these they look like pens you take the caps off they look like brush markers like a prismacolor marker type thing but you can tell see the tips are pretty much the same and um, like Haley said they're really easy to use because they're they're very much like for the trained hand dexterity that we have using a pencil so you're just you go across and you're good and it's easy to make a cat eye with it because it has the pointed tip and because of the handling um, and my second underdog product which is probably one of my favorite things that I've ever bought I bought this at Walmart it's by a brand called Soho but you can get all kinds of like similar products this is the one that I have it's a pink makeup um, sponge but it's like super squishy. I don't really know what they call it. It kind of reminds me of Tempur-Pedic mattress, but the smallness of the pores is makes your makeup go on like really airbrush looking. So like you're really good with um, patting it and you don't get any streaks. You get one of these. All right, I've got some interesting underdog products for you. Um first one is baby powder. Um, I get a lot of shine and so like straight up powder won't do it for me sometimes. Um, not to mention like a, a lot of powders are really yellowy when you put on pale and like 
So then I'll just use baby powder, which, I mean, if you overload it, it goes on pretty white. But um, if you just put a little bit on, it goes on pretty translucent, and it works, especially if you're, like, a pale girl like me, um, just to kind of, like, keep your makeup in place. It really sets your makeup easy. Makes you smell nice, that kind of really thing. Use a fluffy brush to keep it from being white. Yeah, no, use fluffy brush. Um, and it just worked really well. I like it a lot. Um, it's baby powder. People people will be like, are you using baby powder? I'm like, yeah, it's really nice. It's like powder, but it's cheap and better, and I'm pale. Um, the other underdog product is actually a toothbrush. Um, instead of buying like expensive brow brushes, I just like brush my tooth, use my toothbrush like this on my eyebrows and it like shapes my eyebrows like perfectly. And then also a good thing for toothbrushes, getting clumps out of your eyelashes when you get mascara clumps and you just go like this and it picks them right off. So like straight up a toothbrush that saves so much money. It's just a toothbrush. You have probably like 700 that your dentist keeps giving you and they have like weird... I had a friend who went to the dentist who gave her toothbrushes that said I love Jesus on them. So maybe you can take your I love D Jesus toothbrushes that you're not using and use them for your eye makeup. So yeah, that's a thing. Okay, number six is a drugstore product that is overpriced. My drugstore product that is overpriced is gonna have to be mascara in general. I actually have one other mascara. Um, I used to be obsessed with the CoverGirl Lash Blast. I loved it because it has the big, funky, awesome, huge brush that I love. And there's nothing wrong with CoverGirl Lash Blast, but I found that after a while wearing it, it flaked off really bad. And I was the kind of person who would wear my makeup for a while and I don't reapply mascara. So I started using the Maybelline New York's The Rocket Volume Express, which came out, which has a very similar brush. Very similar brush. But the formula, you don't get flaking. To get it off, you like have to rub it. It's a very creamy and very like stays once it dries formula. And I also have the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express, which has a very weird brush, but um, this is what I have in brown. So I don't use this as often, but, um, but mascara just tends to be overpriced. You don't get as you much- have to replace it. Yeah, you don't get as much wear often. out of a mascara, and everybody says put contact solution in it, but honestly, it doesn't work the same after that. You have to buy mascara, like, it's one of the most, like, easily dried out products because, you, you know, you don't get to use another brush. The brush that's in here is the brush you use. So it gets funky, you can't wash it. So mascara, it's a thing, you know. It's, it's the evils of makeup, but that's my overpriced product. Um, my overpriced product is just kind of like lipstick. Um, this one smells nice though. I really like this, I really like this color. I like the Revlon Vivids, but it's just like, I'll be, in, like, I don't buy a lot of lipstick because it's like six or, like, six or seven dollars a tube, and I'm like, what is this? This is lipstick, um, and especially when I can get, like, cheap stuff that I can throw in my pocket that's the same color that works just as well, um, stays on throughout the day, like, Seriously, I think I wore this to prom and it stayed on all night. So this is just um I think it might be Giordano too. It's just one of those like 99 cent lipsticks. If a 99 cent lipstick were to buy it, like it's not going to kill you. Um but I do really like the Revlon and it makes me feel fancy to own like a official tube of lipstick, but yeah, no, like 99 lipsticks and lip glosses, they work too. So don't be ashamed. Rock that 99 cent lipstick. Okay, so pretty much the part that you've been waiting for is show your best drugstore dupes. And we, being the cheap college students we are, had to raid our rich roommates' makeup bags. So from the generous thing that is college, we came out with these two um, different Too Faced palettes 
which are both, this one is the smoky eye palette and this is the natural eye palette and we have a couple dupes from both of them. We will start with the natural eye palette. In the natural eye palette, you get um, like three different sets of smoky eye for like different times of day. But I mean, for seriously. the day, for the, no, I have one. Oh, one. I have, you have one, but this one is the same too. Look at that. That is, yeah, that one matches. That and one has more shimmer. That one, pretty much. But yeah, so this is my like perfect dupe here. This is called Velvet Revolver. And that's the color for Velvet Revolver, pretty much finger color. And here I have a Maybelline New York Duo. And I'm going to use the uh, lighter of the two colors here. So, let's get some good. They're pretty similar in consistency, and they're your color. Pretty much the same. Even matches the grout on the wall back here. So, um, that's a good one for that. Um, and then moving on, and also in here, there is the color Sexpresso which is your dark brown for your day color. And um, this is a Maybelline single, which is in, oh goodness, I don't know, it's expert wear. It's matte and it doesn't tell me a color, but it's a dark brown. Um, and there you go. And Maybelline, Maybelline's um, consistency is is very good, and your pigmentation is pretty good. So that's from that one. And then you have the Too Faced Smoky Eye, and in this one you get um, your day, your fashion, and your classic. Um, we're working from the classic here. They don't have specific specific names for each one of these, but I'm using the sparkly blacks, so the smaller one. And it is very similar. I have this Color Girl Trio, which is the Eye Enhancer collection. And this is the, the Dazzle Metallics Trio. And I'm going to use the black that's here in the middle. These two colors are pretty much identical. So Sh uh, black with a little shimmer, you can't really mess that up. So there you go, you got three dupes from the Too Faced collections. And now for our last question, we have a product that we think is overrated. All right, so I'm gonna start with the All May Intense Eye Color, the new revamped kind, because I used to wear that old stuff in middle school and like that was like my go-to. I wore too much then, so like it was kind of obnoxious. But still, um, it used to be that like the bronze was like the part closest to your eye, and then it was like this silvery blue was like um, up in your brow, and um, like the, the navy was in your crease. crease. But they switched it up, so now it's like you're putting navy eyeshadow on, which is so naff, which is British slang for uncool. Don't know what. Like anytime I think of blue eyeshadow, I think of the word naff. Um, but like it just goes on really streaky too. So it doesn't even make like an interesting smoky eye because it's like so streaky. Like check that out. That's like so streaky. Kind of gray. Uh, yeah, no, it doesn't turn out good. Um, and like the bronze is actually the color I really like, but it's like the smallest amount. So it runs out so quick. And like you're paying for the whole thing uh, for the bronze. Yeah, I'm paying for the whole thing for the bronze. And like the bronze is actually what makes my blue eyes look really good. So I don't. I'm, I'm really upset at you, Ame, especially because you're hypoallergenic and then you go and ruin your eyeshadow. And Kate Hudson, you're lying to me because you're always telling me that Ame has good colors for my eyes, but they don't anymore. So stop lying to me, Kate Hudson. Okay, my overrated product is this whole lipstick lip balm combo fad. And about every brand has one. That like kind of started with the baby lips and everybody loved baby lips and everybody was obsessed with baby lips and honestly I don't get it because I think baby looks looks like something the ghetto girls in middle school carried around so the ones that I have here I have two by um, L'Oreal 
the Color Riche Balms here in 818 and 218. And then also I have number 45 in the Color Whispers by Maybelline. So here's what they look like on my arm in the swatch. Um, the Whispers looks like it has a lot of color, but it's like definitely sheer. And I know that's what they're going for, but in a lipstick, I don't want that. I don't want a lipstick that's sheer. I want a lipstick that's going to be a color on my face. And when I want a lip balm, I want something that's going to hydrate me and not smear red or pink all over my entire face. So, with that being said, this was our extremely long makeup tag. Hi. So, hope you enjoyed it. Peace out, biddies.